Squad stream has started, Matt. Oh yeah. I also have a Mountain Valley Seltzer. You know what? I like that energy. We're gonna go chaotic into the week. I don't know if it gets too loud. Otherwise, it's staying high. We got a squad stream. Squad stream. Um. Um. Squad stream. Squad stream. This looks disgusting, but it tastes good. Well, what should we call one? Matt. Oh, Maddie boy. Oh, Maddie boy. Yeah. Wow, you are just coming from every angle today. Oh yeah, Matt, what about you? What are you ingesting? I don't even have a singular thing here. I should. We got a squad stream. Squad stream. Um, um, squad stream. Squad stream. This looks disgusting, but it tastes good. Well, what should we call one? Matt? Oh, Maddie boy. Oh, Maddie boy. Disgusting, but it tastes good. Well, what should we call one? Matt? Oh, Maddie boy. Oh, Maddie boy. Hello gamers, specifically Vagita. Thank you for subscribing for two years and two months. And also, I'm so sorry, mods shouldn't have to subscribe. Anyway, Corgi Shinobi, you should have to subscribe. Just kidding, but thank you so much for subscribing. I do really appreciate it. And we're gonna get started here in just a minute. I'm with Matt, see you soon. Boop and boop. Matt, we're live. Hello, hello. Hello. Gonna show our faces. Mayday. Boop. Tater Tot, he's showing hole on stream. Hi, buddy. Hi, little man. I'm about to <laughs> when you said you're gonna show our faces, I got so scared for a second. Like, <laughs> my shirt is wide open. I'm, 
I'm not ready for the prime time quite how, yet. How is it? Are you not chilly? Your shirt wide open? No, I mean the the heating is good here, and I also, you know, full disclosure, I've been very sick the last few days, and I have a bit of uh, Vicks Vapo Rub on my chest, like Whoa. an eight year old child whose that mom's taking care of him. Sounds stinky. Anyway, thank you, Zuzuki. It's, uh, you were too loud, Matt. I've turned you down. Wow. How dare you? I've muted you completely. Just kidding. Casey says, ooh, a la hunk alert. I assume he's talking about Tater Tot, who is honestly very close to showing hole on stream. You're so cute, buddy. You're so cute. Well, you keep trying to, like, pull his tail up. I mean, You're forcing look. him to do it. There it is. <laughs> you just want him to make it in the biz. Oh, wow. Yeah. Honestly, he kind of squished into it. His little tail covered it. He's modest. Oh. I love you so much, Tater Tot. You're the best boy around. So soft and perfect. Casey, I know you meant Tater Tot. How dare you? It's true. Anyway, Abby. Matt, speaking of, isn't it chilly for you? I want to make chili, and I have some <sighs> questions because you are the chili expert. I have a slow cooker. Ooh. Do you think I could make chili in a slow cooker in like two hours? Or do I need like a, like how much time does it have to cook for? Well, I'm a chili expert, but I'm not a slow cooker expert. I would oh, how do you recommend that? that you maybe... It's a slow cooker thing where you'd need to add the beans later than you add everything else. I don't think so. I think you just shove it all in and wait, like, a while. Yeah, just a good shove it all in. I was what kind of thinking... slow cooker did you get? Did you get, like, a, one of those fancy ones? I got a $15 I love crock gaming. Pot. Oh, it's Very of the month. Fancy. I also love gaming. Thank you so much. But anyway, I got a $15 crock pot, two quarts, nice and small. But I was thinking maybe I could also, like, do it overnight because I'm not going to be home that day, but I, I want to make chili that evening. So I could, like, do it overnight and then reheat it and make, like, a cornbread. Tater tot, please not now. Oh, damn. Cornbread. Uh, it sounds really good. Well, I'll Google slow cooker chili high. recipes for you. Um and we'll see what we can do. Great. I can't do that myself. King Vidiot says, I don't know the recommended time, but four hours on high works for me. That's a lot. Or six-ish on low. Four hours, though. I really have to be prepped. Also, that's not like a thing that I could, like, turn on and leave my house, right? That's dangerous. We don't do that. Slow cookers, generally, you can. Because slow cookers, when it reaches the end of the timer, it just goes to, like, incredibly low. Oh. Like it just goes to a warming function. That's the whole. But it's not gonna like catch deal. on fire because I'm not really worried so much about it like burning. Well, you said yours it. was like fifteen dollars, so maybe the cord would fray and like zap something. I don't know, but generally speaking, it's you're supposed to like leave and go Jesus to work and come I back. Put stuff in and go to work. You can just have it cooking all the time. Is that not that's dangerous? The, that's why you guys literally talk the point of this? a slow cooker. Well, yeah, but I thought you had to like be in the house. But anyway, while you talk about this, I'm gonna eat a breakfast burrito because I haven't really eaten Whoa. today. Whoa. Wow. Damn, look at that thing. It's huge. I it's guess I'm going to make hand. it in the morning. Maybe I'll do it on stream. I don't know if I have the capability of that, but wouldn't that be fun? But yeah, that's the deal. You make the stuff in the morning, and then your house smells tantalizing all day long, which is really painful don't... if you work from home. Yeah, I just don't want to burn my house down. You know? It won't burn your house down. Easy for you to say. You live in Canada. It's not like, Things are different out It's here. not like a pan of oil that you have that you leave on high and then walk away from. It's like slow cookers are yeah. very low, low heat. Okay. It's just scared. that's why they have to cook for a really long time, is because it's so low heat. Low and slow, they say. I guess that makes sense. I love them though. Oh, you can make some good meat in a slow cooker, I tell you what. Damn. Stuff will fall right off the bone. How do you make your chili so good, Matt? Explain. Uh, I put in a lot of spice. I mean, I make chili for me, and that means that I add spice from multiple vectors. I'm talking hot peppers, so I cover the vegetable angle. I season my meat first thing. I don't wait till the end to start putting seasoning in. I season it at every single step of the process. That makes sense. Um, I like to make it nice and smoky. I get some really good caramelization on my vegetables before I start adding my liquid ingredients. Uh, I always make it in a really, really big pot so that I have a ton of it. That's important for me hmm. because chili freezes really effectively and it's great oh. to just have chili forever. Wow. Does it reheat well? Yes, extremely. You you can put it in. So what I do is I, there's a bunch of different ways you can do it, but generally I do Ziploc bags and I put my chili in Ziploc bags and then freeze that. And then you have like a block of chili. It's it's kind of like a push pop of chili that you have at the end of the procedure. 
and then you can either you can put the Ziploc into like some boiling water to heat it up, or usually what I just do is I chunk it up, put it in a bowl, and then microwave it. Damn, it microwaves it great, and chili is always better the next day. That's the brilliant really? genius. Oh, that's the thing about chili. It is an incredible day after and further on food Good up to, to a know. point. Well, Eventually, maybe, it starts growing mold. So maybe I'll make it on um, Sunday because I want to have it for Monday, but I got to go out and do therapy. You know what I mean? I but I don't do. want to burn my house down. Oh, Casey, you're in chat. Do I need to make food for our um, dinner? I think it's it on Sunday or is it on Saturday? I think it's on Sunday. They're gonna say, Casey, you're chat. in charge. Casey, <laughs> you you're in watch charge. Watch my slow cooker. Yeah, watch. Honestly, yeah, could you? <laughs> Anyway, it's, uh, oh, sorry, I was going to move on to the gameplay. Please. Oh, also, I have my seltzer that I will pour eventually. The dinner we're going to a restaurant for. Oh, look, Casey, I didn't realize we were going to a restaurant. <laughs> I thought it was at somebody's house, okay? That wasn't told to me. I was just told we're going to a Christmas dinner, and those are usually home-cooked uh, in my experience. Anyway, I'll bring, <laughs> I'll bring my own dinner to the restaurant. You yeah. can look at the text. It probably was told to me, but I'm still going to look. I don't know which restaurant. Uh, I'm going to have to go so far back. We text a lot. It's McDonald's. Let's see. If I just do Christmas dinner, do you think it'll come up? Let's see. <gasps> yes. <laughs> Maybe. I have an hour till I have to go. Just it so you It just know. says, hey, do you want to go to a Christmas dinner on Sunday the 11th? And then a bunch of names. Does not say a restaurant, Casey. Wow. If there's one Does thing that Abby Russell restaurant. loves, it's to be right. In it's public. Who doesn't like to be right? Are you kidding me? I don't like to rub it in other people's faces. If, but if, if I didn't own. have such a hard absolutely was told to you, I wouldn't have cared <laughs> so much, I will say. Sorry for getting owned publicly, Casey. Yeah. But anyway, I'm excited either way. Thank you for the invite. <laughs> um, anyway. <laughs> the mood's not going to be weird at all. <laughs> there are new Mario Kart courses. Um, sure are. So we got to show those off. I also had an improv class today. Can you believe it? And I got to stand up and do two things, actually three, not a single Whoa. scene. And it's really annoying when that happens. <laughs> you got like... to set up the chairs at the beginning and take them down <laughs> at the end of the class. It always feels like a waste of money. Anyway, I was thinking we could do B-Day King's Onky. It seems like that one's working. And Yoshi's Only oh, sure. still applies, but we're in the B-Day King's Onky room. If people want right. to join. Okay, you go boop. And then... This is the code down there. Mods, do you mind pinning it to the top of the chat? I think that's a thing we can do. And I would like to participate. But Thank you, mods. I'm going to double check the mods. Have the code 0894927816111. That is not a friend code. That is a tournament code. Just a heads up. I'm going to pour do a little ASMR pour while this... It's pinned. Hold on, let me just... Now, I will say, it's going to be a little harder to play the new courses doing a tournament, because it's all going to be, you know, random and three other sure. choices. Just oh. so everyone knows. Well, if we don't get all of them before the end of the stream, we can play them, Matt. How does that sound? That's true. Um, I would love to. Dashboard. Twitch dashboard. While this is happening. Ooh. All right, tournament code's up. I'm participating in it. I'm going to pour I'm gonna on the some earth. ASMR pouring. I don't know if Discord will let you hear it, Matt, but the people at home will. <gasps> My controller! Fuck. Oh, so annoying. Oh, hold on. <laughs> One second. My controller. Just try and hold it together for a couple of minutes, Abby. Ah, You're play I had improv Mario today. Kart. Who do you think I am? Okay, you got to be a Yoshi and your color's got to match your car. Very okay, important. Anyway. Fuck, I just poured it all over myself. Jesus. <laughs> Oh, it's so cold and wet. It's all over my controller. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm a mess today. Tater, don't look at me. Oh, it's really all over my pants. <laughs> I can't believe we all had to do mushrooms at improv, and now I can't coordinate my hands anymore. <laughs> it seems like the controller's still working. Or the king's well, donkey. Well, crossed. Oh, also, we got people in here. rules are you got to choose a new course, and if they don't have it, you got to go random. Those are the rules. Yes. Ooh, Jesus is here. Just kidding. I wonder who that is. Is Crunch Slam Chest here? I still need to thank them for my soda stream. Also, there's a fun thing with Mario Kart where they put you in random rooms. So sometimes you'll be alone, sometimes you'll be with people. So good luck, have fun. We got Andy and T with us, both Americans. 
Right, I'm representing for my country here. I gotta show you guys what's up. Oh, I'm so excited to learn that I could do crockpot chili as I leave the house. It's kind of scary <laughs> though. I really, I'm scared that I'm gonna burn my house down. But the good news is my apartment has sprinklers, so Tater will probably survive. Have you had bad experiences with cooking before where you burned a house down? I don't leave cooking unattended. I've never done anything that was like, hey, like walk away from this. You know? I didn't forget it. Yeah. It just feels like it's been drilled into me like ovens and cooking are dangerous, so you don't forget about them. Like leaving your oven on is a very scary thing to me. Really? Yeah. It's interesting. Well, you're in Canada, so you don't totally get that like we got gas stove tops. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Explain no to me insurance. what I don't totally get. I guess yeah, the insurance thing is scary. Yeah. But... Yes, it is mostly electric appliances here. I was very scared the first time I cooked in America. Yeah. It was gas. Which is honestly really funny to me. It's like, what a wild thing that you guys do, controlling an explosion for a while to make your food. <laughs> it's only scary if it goes out, and then it's just like, uh-oh, the pilot light. And then that really will, that'll scare you. Burns the eyebrows right <laughs> off. I just want to let Andy know in chat that you're not allowed to be beating me, and I will ban you. That's true, she will. She's not joking. One time, Abby and I didn't speak for several months because I beat her at Mario Kart. Yeah, don't show the stats, please. <laughs> <laughs> I have the picture saved. No! Oh, good. I, I got Andy. I'm going to kill him. Jesus. Oh, no. I'm going to fall over the edge. Fuck. Andy, no. Andy, no. Stop. Break. Shit. Still winning. Oh, no. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Ah! Hi. Okay, as long as you get Andy. Dang it. How was I in second? Feels good to be in first. Andy, did you pull back on purpose? You didn't actually have to. Wow. <laughs> okay, Andy. If you show yourself Andy. in chat, I'll see if I can make you an artist. <laughs> you have to good. check your tattoo that says "Don't believe her lies," because Abby is never. Is this one penguin to trust. one new? I don't think so, right? No, no, that's from the last, the last shuffling. Batch. Anyway, Andy, thank you. That was pretty funny. I like it. I don't think there are many gas ovens in the UK, but gas hobs are generally more desirable. What the fuck is a gas hob? We've got gas hobs in the UK. I'll make my fish and chips on a gas hob. What about mm. you? Yikes. Are yikes? <laughs> British people are Americans. Oh, Kevin's here. Kevin. Kevin. Gas hobs are kind of gremlin. <laughs> so I nailed it. Oh, my laps. All wet from the water I spilt all over it. Oh, Abby. Oh, yeah. Toto slag. I didn't become a little bit of a slag. I became a toto slag. I still love that quote so much, Matt. It's my favorite Is thing. Is it from the Bible? World. It's from the Bible, yeah. Um, Mary said it um, before she gave birth. They were like, aren't you a virgin? She's like, you thought I was a virgin, but I'm a toto slag. Yeah, I don't know who Jesus's father is. <laughs> All right, so now I've got enough context to understand what that word's supposed to mean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was pretty clear. Slag, I became a total slag. Yeah. I'm in a weird mood today. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> Uh-huh. Peter, I love you so much. Do you want to come up, little man? So I'll let ya. Nope. Okay, he's walking away. You don't want to sit in that wet lap, you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, but I want him to. The perfect Jerusalem accent. Thank you, Mike. <sighs> Jerusalem's in Israel, right? Is it like a real place or like mythical? Oh boy. <laughs> Get her. Get her, chat. <laughs> Cancel this woman. <laughs> I did wonder for a really long time when I was a child whether Don't or not Bethlehem emphasize was emphasize when I was a child. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll rephrase it. When I was a stupid idiot who didn't know anything and didn't go to school yet. I wondered okay. if Bethlehem they was real. talking that much about, you know, all that stuff. They don't talk in that much about all that stuff. You Look, right. I'm reading chat. I'm playing a game. And Tater talks being cute and distracting. Oh, Tater. He's the sweetest. My perfect angel baby. Bye, Tater. 
You think he'd be happier or less happy in a much bigger apartment where he had his own space? Why must you ask me these hurtful questions? I'm just genuinely curious. <laughs> Do you think but he'd like be his... happier if he had free reign and didn't wasn't trapped in your small space? The thing about Tater is, and you, is that you live in very confined space, so it's like you don't have the option really. Like he can't he can't storm out. Basically, is what I'm saying. <laughs> if you two yeah. have an argument, there's nowhere for him to go. Well, sometimes he sleeps on the couch, and I like to think, you know, it's like, yeah, he's sleeping on the couch tonight, you know? Sure. Yeah. I do, okay. Zuski asked the state of Stockholm Syndrome, but like, legit pets do. That's, like, they yeah, kind that's, of fucking that's pet do. Ownership. Absolutely. Because sometimes they escape, <gasps> and Google. they're like. Life on the outside is pretty good, I think. It's hard to remember what it used to be like. Well, I feel like a lot of times they just hide. It depends on the cat. Then they get, yeah, they, then they get confused and turned around, all the weird smells. Yeah. Tater's no one's there like, to Tater's always wants to escape, but then he runs out and he goes, oh my God, the world is big and he's scared. Yeah. Mike doesn't know if you're Same. feeling better today, Matt. I want to know, I want to let everyone know I asked this question earlier, so I am still a good friend. <laughs> yeah, you're very empathetic. I am feeling much better. I don't sound better, and I'm still coughing, but coughing's the last of it. Um, but my energy levels are good. I have been terribly sick for the past few days. Yeah, it's not COVID, though. It's not COVID, thankfully. It was just a regular, what I assume a regular cold used to feel like. But it had been four years since I had been sick last. Yeah. So I've, I've been a real big baby about it. Yeah, it's crazy how often I used to get sick and how much I never get sick now. It's wild. I mean, it's good, but... Yeah. Peter Tot, you're so sweet. You're just staring at my feet, though. Come up or don't. Oh, God, we go under... Whoa, we're in the water. Yeah, this new course, new. dude. This is a new one. But this was in the Mario Kart 7, no? But not in the water. But it's new to this. I see, I see. Very exciting! Yes! Whee. I like when you I see hope... someone's me and you know, like, they probably really look like this in real life too, you know? Ouch! Oh, yeah. Oh, Tater is gently touching my hands. What's up, buddy? Why? Then why did you say ow? Because it's, it's just scared me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used ow. to saying ow oh, when he just, touches me. Oh, he's gently touching my hands! <laughs> he's being gentle and loving. <laughs> Because <laughs> you know that's what comes before like. the bite. Honestly, yes. Okay. Okay, I'm really playing terribly, everyone. But no, it's just because I'm in a silly, goofy mood. And I'm actually really good at this game. Yeah, we're just funning right now. Don't look at the numbers. Don't look at them. We're letting Andy win. It's a charity act. Yeah. Well, I'm not. I'm very far ahead. What? Uh-oh. I spoke too soon. Andy, slow down. <laughs> Does it work for me? <laughs> Damn, I'm getting all mushrooms. I love this. And I'm still so far behind. Whee! There are ghost fish down here. Do you think fish can be ghosts? Well, I think oh, anything... Is anything with a soul becomes a ghost? Or anything that has a life becomes a ghost? And what determines what a life is? Damn. Let's, let's get into it. Damn. Like, if fish eggs get killed... I mean, come on. Oh, it's Tater! Dude, he's on the bed. And he... Oh, whoa! This one's in space. Holy snap, we got more people. And we got more people. Oh, yeah, there that's the, um, that's Mario Kart 7 Rainbow Road. That's one of the new ones. Ooh, it's cool looking. No, Matt! <laughs> Sorry that I picked uh, random. You I didn't notice it because, you know, we play a lot of Mario Kart. Spain. So Whoa! Cool. I always get so excited when people aren't from where I'm from. Let them but win. I wish I spoke Spanish. Um, no habla español. We Los have to try. <laughs> we have to try the uh, like messing around with items at some point. Yes, agree. Because you can do item customization now. Someone was saying they played Paul in Bob. all blue shells baby park. Oh my god, that's hell! Yeah, we gotta do it. <laughs> Sounds buck wild. I'm very down. Yeah, stop being ahead of me. Okay, so these people didn't get the all Yoshi's memo. It's called Yoshi's Onki Tournament, but that's fine. Yeah, we're part of Onki, don't you understand? Yeah. Whee! 
Gee, that felt like a good drift. Man, this game's good. It's so good, dude. And it will continue to be for the remainder of 2023. Wow. Oh, I'm Another so tired. Another full year. Oh, with me talking? Yeah. It is crazy that 2022 is almost over. I don't really care for that. Felt like it just started to me. It's been very difficult to grapple Damn, with. Bam. Okay. Is that just because I'm Canadian or? No, it's because of the song. Um, yeah, it's, it both feels like this has been the longest year of my life. And also I'm like, it's over, you know? Yeah. Well, every time I try to think about like, you know, this is the time of the year when people are reflecting on their favorites of the past year. Oh. And I'm just like, okay, well, it's only it's February now. So like what stuff, what? <laughs> your face? Yeah, your favorite. My favorite, my favorite face of 2022 your is definitely Abby I, I, Your favorite everything. Whatever, Matt. It was a good joke. Carry on. Okay. Think about your well, face. Yeah, well, I was trying to think about, like, favorite movies I've seen, favorite shows and stuff. And I'm like, well, it's only February, so let's see what's out right now. <laughs> and no. uh, it's not the case. It is, in fact, the end of the year right now. Okay, well, let's give me a favorite everything. Favorite movie. Top of the Dome. What Ooh. do you got? Uh, top of the Dome? Yeah, uh, RRR was pretty mind. good. Okay. Okay. Favorite show. I feel like I know the answer, but let's hear it. It's definitely Andor. You nice, know that. Nice, with nice. a bullet. Easy. Favorite album? Ooh, very good question. I would have to look up what came out this year because okay, I do tend to hop quite a bit. Yeah. Mm, yeah, nothing that... Well, actually, I really liked the New York. It's really good. It's really good. It's really quite good. I mean, unsurprising because it's fucking Bjork, but like, I really like that Bjork album. Um, it is good. I will say it's it was really good, but it didn't, I feel like it didn't stay with me in the same way that some of the other ones did. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, I do. Yeah, I like I really did. like it a lot, but I was also like pretty satisfied once I listened to it 20 times in a row. And I was like, cool. Versus yeah. like some of the other ones that I'm like, I got to listen to them all now, you know? I've definitely felt similarly with some of her other albums, but those had even less of an impact initially. Sure. But with Bjork, also a lot of the pleasure comes from repeated viewings because yeah. so much of it is produced and layered, and She's so good. you know, there's a, there's a lot to dive into. It's a it's a meal when you listen to Bjork. Um, so good. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Rules. Look at my ass hair to me. What other categories? This is fun. What other categories um, are there for favorite? Favorite or? person you streamed with. Oh, did I stream with Casey this year? Dang it. <laughs> it Favorite be you. person in a Discord call. <coughs> oh, that's tough. Probably our friend Will. Dang it. <laughs> Will is cool. He's also elusive, which makes it seem like more exciting. It, the, when yeah, it's all about the chase with, with Will. <laughs> yeah, whereas me, I'm like, I'm available whenever. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I make myself very much the same. It's just like, well, Matt always wants to hang out. Yeah, and... Seems good to me. Yeah, and it's always great. And everybody loves it. What's your favorite funny moment that happened in our Discord? What's your favorite inside <laughs> joke for the people at home? I do definitely appreciate turning this inward in a way that's uh -huh. very unaccessible to everyone else. <laughs> <Me too. laughs> I'm trying to think of my favorite funny thing that happened in our Discord. I did just type hashtag feet earlier tonight, nice, so that's dude. pretty funny. That is funny. No! Driving along the rings of freaking Saturn. Ooh, favorite fake word. That's good. Favorite fake word? Mine's probably um, bloobers. <laughs> bloobers? Yeah. Is that just for this year or all time? Just this year. Last year it was tittle bits. Tittle bits? When did you hear that? Um, in my dreams mostly. <laughs> We well, had an easy out, but you could have just said last year. <laughs> yeah, damn, fuck. <clears throat> this is a good rainbow road. I like this one. What? The road is really wide, is so there's the less chance of just one? flying off. Yeah, this is the one from Mario Kart Seven. Oh. Right? It was just added. Just added yesterday I or a today. Two-person okay? race with Andy. I have a boomerang. It's not gonna be good for me. Fuck! I knew it. And they drifted. Damn. Whatever. They hit the grass. Oh, shit. I'm at the boomerang. Wow, play, <laughs> play by play. <laughs> well, you gotta know what's going on. Nice try, Andy. I'm gonna get you with a green shell. I wanna see what's going on with you guys. I'll press the X button to look in my rearview mirror. Dang it. We're not even in the thing. We're on a totally different <laughs> course. I'm in New York. Or I guess it's Damn New York. Well, I can just look down no, then. I'm in York. space. 
But yes, I'm live. I should have tweeted this out, but I didn't. That's fine. Whoops. Is there a character theme? Yoshi's. It's Yoshi's Onki. Yeah, Yoshi's Onki. And if you pick a Yoshi, you got to try and pick a car that's the same color yeah. as your Yoshi. If you can. Only fair. <sighs> I love breakfast burritos. I'm... Should I take a nap? If I take a nap, I'm just going to sleep forever. You know? Oh, Kevin's in my group. Hi, Kevin. Very fun. Why is he in mine? Because I'm the streamer guy. I'm the king streamer. Dang it. We all chose random and he chose Coconut Mall, which I feel like is a very Abby Russell move. I do love Coconut Mall. It's very much in the spirit. My favorite move is still just trying to do um, Animal Crossing four times in a row. To get yes, all the to get all the seasons. And to annoy all your friends. It never bugged me. Favorite animal... Favorite Mario Kart course. I really, my brain, it took <laughs> me a happened? long time to write that wrong. I, I mean, can I can sense do it was wrong, animal. but I couldn't figure out why. Anyway, what's your favorite Mario Kart course of this year? Of this year? Of this year. Oh, we never also did just a game, so you should do game too. But oh, damn, first. yeah. Game is going to be hard. Uh, Mario Kart course, I would say. I really liked the dessert course from the last expansion pack. I think it had a good balance of like, it was fun to drive on, plus it looked beautiful. I think that one's uh, from Mario Kart Tour. Yeah. But you know, like new course is tough because there hasn't been a new Mario Kart 8 course in like seven years or whatever. Well, these are, I, I consider these new because they're mostly new to me. Sure. My favorite new course is probably the, um, the train one, the dusty train one. I also oh, like the Sydney yes. one quite a bit. The music really slaps on the Sydney one. It is wild how well they revitalized those N64 ones, like the, the yeah. Dusty Train one. Because that course is kind of boring on the N64. Why are you shooting backwards, Joey? Don't ask me. Is it just because of all the antagonizing I do of Abby Russell, the stream <laughs> yeah, actually, I'm on yeah. right now? Target Matt if you're gaming with him. Oh, come on, man. Or not. I think, or I think that falls under like the, the TOS for bullying on Twitch's <laughs> rules. What? bullying if me the streamer says it's okay right How interesting that <laughs> it's targeted I need harassment you to go to, i need you to go to this seminar and oh, uh shit. take some sensitivity courses oh, what kind of beans do you use in your chili if Red i do kidney, baked beans is time. that fun oh baked beans would be weird to me but honestly to each their own you know wait okay. kevin's in first sorry to say it like that kevin but you understand I'm gonna zip on ahead. I have a question for the slow cooker beans at home. If I were to say, put it in a slow cooker on low, and the recipe recommends like six hours, but it winds up being like seven or eight, is that okay? Or is that make it? Is that gonna make it mushy and gross? That's what I would like to know. Well, again, if you set it to a certain temperature used in the recipe and it goes past that, it always goes down to the warming level after the timer is oh. done. So it doesn't continue on like high or whatever to like turn all your stuff into mush. Triforce Bigger says, yeah, that's fine. I trust you completely. Jardin Peach. Jardin Peach. I don't know if my slow cooker has a timer. I don't think it does. Because it's what? pretty cheap. It's $15. I think it just has the heat settings. Interesting. Yeah, that might be does. problematic. Ooh, we got a new course. I'm I'm excited. It's the best part the of heck? Mario Kart. New course. New course is eighth night. Whoa, that's a Shakespeare play. No, that's twelfth night. What's eighth night? It's Feels a four before. Kind of threatening. It's the more oh, powerful four. night. Oh shit. Four before twelve. Matt, you're saying a lot of stuff, and it makes no sense. I'm scared. Twelfth night, eighth night is four before twelve. Let me get out a calculator. I'll show you. I kind of am following. Look, I'm trying to take in this course. It's really beautiful. It's like weirdly, it almost feels to scale, but also I just feel really tiny. Whoa, there are chain chops in a. Oh my god, this is so cool. They're hopping around. Yeah, that's the one from Mario Kart 7, right? I really like that course. I don't remember this on Mario Kart 7. 
It's beautiful. It's has a little bit of uh, choose your own adventure fun in there. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, man, there's so many good Yoshis playing right now. I do love the Yoshis. I like the sherbet color Yoshi. Seems delicious. Mm. Yeah. What do you think Yoshi meat would taste like? Ooh. Gator? Yeah, probably. Pretty good. Ooh, Hunter! Thank you for the gift sub to Super Kings TV. Nice. Wow, they've given 102 gift subs to the channel. Wow, thank you so much. Oh, damn. Damn. It's way more than the requisite 69. Nice. I always respect when someone stops gifting subs at 69 <laughs> or takes it to the limit and goes for 420. Damn. I mean, that's dedication. Hell yeah, it is. Oops. Okay. 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 Andy, I must win. Shit, this other dude's good. Let me win! Oh, I'm so sleepy. Sleepy? Yeah, I had to wake up early and leave the house. Ugh. Ugh. I haven't had to do that in a while. Yeah, the person in front of us is very far ahead. He's almost familiar, actually. That's kind of smack of familiarity. What course are you on? Uh, don't hit me. Uh, the beach one. The uh, cheap cheap. The Coop. Yeah, I think cheap cheap or Koopa. I can. Never I hate remember. that beach. Damn, Kevin is out for blood today. Really? What's he doing? He just absolutely nuked me at the finish line. <laughs> Got ahead. I respect the hustle. I love when that happens. Oh, I'm so close. I'm so close. Nice. I feel like Andy's holding back, and I appreciate it. <laughs> but also, you don't have to, Andy. Maybe you do to step one toe out of line. <laughs> Even the house, yucky. Playing Fortnite. Hey, we love a Fortnite. The season's bonkers. Yeah, the season's good. Yeah, it's very good. I like the map. I like the bikes. Should I wear this Guns mask are weird. for the rest of the stream? Yes. It does smell like nice leather. Ooh. Red <laughs> leather or yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Oopsies. Oh, we got the, the Wild card. West level. Oh. The new levels. I'm gonna blanky. Nobody win without me. Be right back. Uh... Hello, eighth night. They're here. They're in chat. Damn. I do just have the mask on my desk because I was maybe gonna hang it on the wall and then I didn't. Riveting, if true. <laughs> Leave me be, okay? <laughs> Not a pile of mail I also need to sort. <sighs> Ooh. Ooh, a nice deep blue Yoshi in mine. Ooh, we got a orange one. I would call that a spice orange, like the oh. fabled rare GameCube color. <gasps> That's a good color. It is. Kevin has the, the spice orange GameCube and the Game Boy player that goes with it also spice wow. orange. Which is such a rare combination to get. Really? It's my most coveted possession of his, and he's got a lot of good toys and trinkets. Mine is Steven, personally. Uh, I don't think of him as a possession, but I'm, you know, Weird. a good person. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, real question. Do you think you're a good person deep down? Uh, that's a very difficult question that a person grapples with for their entire life. Yeah. Uh, I, I, would, like I would hope answer. that on the whole I've done some good and will do more good in the future. I feel the same way. I'm like, I'd like to think so, but I also think people are complicated, myself included. Yes, Nobody's I also perfect. I never want to get into the headspace of congratulating myself yeah, internally for doing too. a lot of good because that's when people stop doing anything. And that's also, I feel like if you're doing good for that congratulations, I don't think it's real. Yeah. And I feel like not all altru altruism, but some altruism, there's always going to be a certain aspect of that, maybe, but I don't know. Kevin, don't hurt me. I just want to do it because it's right. Whee! Wow. 
Wow. They eighth night really kicking our asses. Keepers creepers. I don't know what they have in the water in Spain, but damn, they're good. <clears throat> Kevin hired a professional. He's he's been absolutely destroying me. <laughs> It's got a ringer from the National League. Uh, asking about favorite game of the year, I just remembered. I made my game of the year list earlier. Wow. Um, do you post Earlier somewhere? in the month. I've got... Well, I was going to do... Because last year, last year or the year before, I did like a drawing for each one. Cool. And I want to do that again this year. So I'm going to try to get it done by the end of the year. Um, oh, just man, little sketches for these. again. It's oh, it's about us. damn time. As it should be. I'm going back to Peach Gardens. Uh, but I'll rattle off the 10 to 1 spot right now. Let's hear I've it. I've got the list in front of me. Number 10, Tunic. Very intriguing okay. game. I haven't played it, game, but I really would like to. Game I didn't finish, but <clears throat> I don't think it's that's okay. a requisite for needing yeah. to enjoy a game. Uh, number 9, Kirby in the Forgotten Land, which I was shocked and surprised by because I've disliked maybe the last six Kirby games. I didn't even know a Kirby game came out. It's a really good one. It's 3D. It's very fun. Um, Baby Monkey, then... thank you for subscribing. Anyway, continue on that. Oh, please. This is unimportant compared to anything else. No! Uh, this also covers games that I played for the first time this year because sure. I think that's perfectly like, valid. Even There's if a you replay it and you enjoy it the most out of all the games, that still counts. Sure. The last couple of years, I've had Fortnite pretty high up on my list, yeah. and that definitely didn't come out in those years, but it's no. when I started playing with like you guys and yeah. stuff. Um, but I played Final Fantasy V, the Pixel Remaster. I don't know when that came out, but uh, I had never played that game before, and it was very fun. Uh, Frog Detective 3, number oh, seven. Yeah. Loved playing Frog. I got, I got weirdly emotional at the end of Frog Detective oh, 3, nice. which I was not expecting, but it was like, it was sad, just so sweet. Bobs or cop spoilers was, oh. you, you just love cops too much. Well, let's not spread that, that idea. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like all the all the sweet messages from Grace, and she's just so she good nice. and so so awesome. Um, and then Final Fantasy VII Remake Intergrade for PC, which I played for the first time. Uh, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Still haven't played the new Pokemon, but I liked that other one. Uh, Hollow Knight, which I played for the Ooh, first time this I year, go back and. To that game absolutely loved it i was obsessed with it oh, just um a really that. just fawn and oh. zoon wait no fawn zanoon thank you for Ooh. subscribing and thank you for the three months i appreciate it matt continue on thank you all right we've got two more to go god of war okay. ragnarok uh, okay. which made me cry a lot and wow. then the number one spot elden ring was my favorite oh, game yeah. of the year i forgot that came out I this year it's been a year i loved it huh? so much it's been a friggin year man been a year it feels like that game came out three lifetimes ago at this point it really does yeah that's sure a, enough that it was, was like early one. in the year yeah Elden Ring was incredible I've honestly yeah. been thinking about rebuying it for PS5 just so I can get all the achievements on it's good the PS5 it's good oh hello peace so peep good. okay I I don't I haven't really thought of mine formally but I'm gonna start listing out games that would probably be on my top 10 um this game for sure Fortnite yes. for sure I would uh -oh. also say I would maybe put like Return of the Obra Dinn on there, which I replayed, Ooh. but it kind of like re-sparked me being excited about games. That maybe Breath of the Wild. I don't know if they would both go on there, but I feel like we also got, uh, for me, there was like Inscription I really liked. I definitely have Elden Ring up there. Um, I'm really, I haven't finished it yet, but Pentiment I'm really enjoying. Ooh. There was like something else I played on stream recently that I really liked. I'm trying to remember. Maybe it was just Breath of the Wild, but I thought it was something else. Like another puzzle game. Puzzle game? Did you play it on stream? Yes. Case of the Golden no. Idol. Yes, that is exactly what uh, I think it would be. Oh, Cult of the Lamb. Yeah, Cult of the Lamb would definitely be oh, Cult on of the, there. Yes, Cult of the Lamb that was such was a fun great. experience to watch you play yeah. on stream. That was really fun and special. I really loved it. it it's like there are too few games that like incorporate everybody. You know, yeah. and that was a nice, yes. it was really, it was really good for streaming and also just fun, which is always nice. Yeah. There needs to be more of that kind of thing. I would yes. love to see more of that kind of game. I agree. Um, Immortality and Omori are on my list. Kevin says Immortality. Ah. I don't know if I've played either of those. I have loved watching Kevin stream Immortality. Um, with it? his partner Brooke, it's uh, an FMV game made by the people that made Her Story. Oh, um, sure. I'm curious about called. that one. 
Uh, it's really good. There's a lot of uh, nudity in that game oh. that I wasn't expecting. Uh, Seems like a hard Although it's funny because Kevin says, this is his claim, every time I join the stream, that's when the nudity happens and all <laughs> the other times it's actually very tame, which I find very funny if true. That's great. Um, I think you would like Immortality though, Abby. I, I probably think. would. I like Check a good story good. game. I like a mystery. Good to solve a mystery. Yeah. I love solving mysteries. That's my favorite thing. Absolutely. Um, honestly, I think I would put the Nancy Drew games, but in French on there, because those have been really Ooh. amazing for learning and practicing my French. Yes, it's absolutely. It's nice to go back to them, and it, it makes them feel new again, you know? Oh. I've been thinking about doing that with uh, going back to Animal Crossing after so long, yeah. but playing it in Japanese. Yeah. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of good games that have, like, simplified Japanese that I would like to just try my best to play all the way through How is without having to... Like reference stuff. It's going strong. I'm still I'm on that streak. Nice. Uh, past a year streak, which felt very good. Um, how, like, how are you understanding stuff, though? I can understand pretty... I mean, as long as it's not too kanji heavy, I can read most Japanese, which is pretty good. Nice. Uh, like, I can work my way through, I should yeah, say. Sure. No, reading so. is reading's a different vibe. But yeah, I can, I can puzzle my way through sentences, which feels really good after just like a year of study. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, so I'm, you know, only going to continue to grow. I'm going to try to introduce more uh, Wani Kani into my thing, which is a kanji learning uh, sort of study plan slash app, uh, which is a little bit more concentrated, a little bit harder, because kanji is very difficult. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if you want to learn the language, you got to learn it yeah. eventually. So That's cool. I'm gonna try my best. That's one of my... I don't really subscribe to resolutions, but, sure, but it's one of the things in my life that... I would like to continue to improve that. Hell yeah. Because it makes me feel really good. Yeah. I love language learning. I hope it stays a part of my life. It's really been great. I'm very proud of myself yeah. and how far I've come in French. I've always wanted to learn more languages. And it's possible. I've done it. Your your French progress has been inspiring, honestly. Oh, like thanks. truly. I mean just you know, I tune into a lot of your streams and you'll be like reading stuff in French and you're translating it like live which is the most impressive it thing to me <laughs> to like to be able to like read understand process and then like resubmit that within like in, within english i think is a very very difficult skill well i will say um, i don't always think it's the most accurate <laughs> sure <laughs> but, I, but I mean yeah you get the gist and that's like yeah it's pretty and i it's been yeah it's been really good I, finding a method that works for me for language learning was like the key i think and my yeah. immersive method has been really, really great. Hell and Matt, if they yes. choose this random thing here, I'm going to scream. Well, I'm the one that picked random, and I'm I sorry. Know. I always hit it immediately because oh, of impulse. There we go. <laughs> We're going to do the Christmas level. Everyone get great. excited. I'm excited. It's new. Oh, I'm with two Canadians. Oh, hell yeah. Are you guys neighbors? Yeah, oh, we live what? right next door. There's only two houses in Canada. Yeah, you guys share one electric stove. From sea to shining sea, <laughs> those are the two houses. A long it's, stove like, in the middle. Only recently learned that it was unusual to have a gas stove in a house in a lot of places. Like in Europe, I think it's the same. Um, I watched a movie where that was like a plot point about France, where it was like <laughs> somebody was like staying at someone's apartment. She was like, "Hey, just a heads up, it's a gas stove, so you gotta be really careful." And then later on, like it burned, <laughs> like burned the oh. apartment down a little bit. It was fine. It was like kind of a small plot point. It was sort of a weird one, but anyway. Yeah, stills are intense. I I feel so <sighs> used to them. I really don't think twice. Sure. But when I think back to myself as like, you know, a 17, 18 year old oh, out so on his pretty. own for the first time, like getting my first apartment and stuff, I can't imagine entrusting that guy with a, like a gas stove. I feel like I would have burned so many apartments down. I don't trust a teen with my gas. What's up here? This course is awesome. There are Yoshis everywhere. The people are sliding. Yeah, oh, wait, no, that's like Santa. Never mind. I'm confused. Jordan. This Yoshi is so pretty. I love the spice color. It's so nice. Mm -hmm. Feels sherbery to me. We're going to see some Santa in a bit here, I think. Whoa. It's nice to learn that Mario Kart is um, secular. That's what that word means, right? Opposite. 
Well, although the Japanese version of Christmas is incredibly secular. So wait, what's the opposite though? What is the word for it? <sighs> sacred, I think, is the opposite of secular. Hate is that? Is that not true? Just like, what does it mean when it's like there's lots of religious religions? They ch and they chose yeah. one. <laughs> they chose one. Uh, yeah, I guess religious. religious. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. But yeah, the the Japanese version of Christmas is so far removed from that. It's not even a family holiday. It's usually reserved for couples. Oh, that's so interesting. It's like a Valentine's Day kind of deal. It's wow, that's kind of nice. Yeah. I went when I went to J to Japan. It was like just after Christmas. It was like New Year's time. Ooh. Actually, it might have been Christmas. That would actually make. Did sense. you see any ads for the KFC Christmas deal? <gasps> Probably, because I know like that that is their like Japan. tradition. Yeah. Yeah. Devout. That's that's yeah. Devout. I feel like it's not quite the right flavor, but yeah. I love seeing in all caps "devout" in chat. It's very powerful. Oh, interesting. Daily Bean says it's funny when we say stove, it means oven and hob together. Only rich people have an oven and stovetop separate. Yeah, I didn't even think you could do them separate. Anyway, "devout" in all caps is pretty funny in chat. Um, I just caught up with what you said, Matt. So that's oh. so hob is hob is the burners. The, oh. Yeah. Fascinating. But it's very common in like <sighs> places that are smaller, like J Japanese apartments are really small and they usually just have like little burners. Oh, sure. Pretty rare, pretty rare to get the full I'm oven. Oh, KFC right now. no, none of these are new. Yeah. Are you in KFC probably. right now, Mike? Uh, okay, let's see if I spill water on myself again. What do you think? What's the over under? <laughs> Oops, should we do a prediction if I'm going to spill water on myself? <laughs> probably won't be time. So I'm going to start pouring. Absolutely Here. Uh, oh, it splashed a little bit. So if you predicted yes, honestly, I probably would have given it to you. Is this your first day pouring water? Shush! Uh, I didn't <laughs> I don't know if I trust you with today. a gas stove. I don't understand what that has to do with anything. Unless you were using your arms a lot and they're very sore and tired. No, I will say, I mean, I haven't done an in-person improv in, at all since before COVID. But honestly, yeah. it kind of brought back the, like, oh, an improv class. <laughs> and I was trying <laughs> to have a good attitude. But it's hard when it's just like, guys, don't be so in your head. Let's just have a little fun. You know what I mean? Sure. That's just the nature of an improv class. It's also hard, too, when you get to the higher levels. Because then people are especially in their heads because there are some stakes where, like, you might not pass. You know? Oh, um, yeah. Which can be kind of annoying. That's okay. Everyone was very nice. And... It was fine. I did tell one guy that his fly was down at one point. <laughs> Abby. What? You're not going to let him have his fly open while on stage. I would never want to know. I told him discreetly. It was fine. Look, if it makes you feel better, he was very handsome. I don't think he minds. <laughs> yeah, handsome people have no insecurities. Saying, That's handsome true. Handsome people can't... Yeah, they can't be insecure. And they need to be knocked down a peg anyway. <laughs> yeah. Hollywood famously full of very secure people. <laughs> that is true. I will say, this was just kind of a weird thing I noticed, but like the issue of weight came up multiple times of like people talking about losing weight or gaining weight in a way that I have never seen so many people talk about in one place before. And I'm like, I guess this is LA and it's like full of actors. So it sort of makes sense, but I was a little uncomfortable by it. Yeah, that sounds rough. Yeah, and like nobody called, everybody was like, this is normal. And I was like, well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this is the conversation we have every day. Yeah, I was like, this is weird. Whee! Whee! Jordan, how does it feel to be in the blessed group? Pretty good, I hope. Mm, no response. <laughs> Ugh, Casey, that sucks. I don't like it. I, it was one of those things where I wished I was in the scene with those people so I could call out, like, that's weird that you're talking about this in this way. But. Oh, they were doing it in scenes? Well, it was like, so early improv stuff is a lot of, like, we're going to talk as ourselves or whatever. Um, and it was more of that, of, like, I'm talking about myself, but, like, we're putting on a funny character. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. <gasps> Vegeta, I'll see you later. No worries. Thanks for hanging out. Whoop whoop. Anyway, yeah, that All sucks. Right. Seems so weird. I think I've got one more, and then I've got to get the heck out of here. Okay. Zuski says it's crazy to me that you can fail an improv class. Yeah, that is a good point. It's weird and it stinks. 
And I wouldn't, yeah. It's a weird cursed aspect of improv, mm. um, I will say. Oh, it's just me and one person. I think is this will be my last me? one, too. No, I don't know who this oh. is. His eyes yeah, we got to get out of here before the Game Awards. We're going to actually oh, be yeah. presenting an award in tandem on stage tonight. It's going to be a I do. Honestly, I just want to know when the Game Awards are happening so I can enter for a Steam Deck giveaway. I well, want a Steam Deck. You can sign up right now. I put the link in our Discord. I did, but you have to, like, watch it. Oh, yeah, true. Uh, it starts in 10 minutes. 10 minutes? I thought it started at 5. No. 40 minutes. 4.30 is when the, the stream starts. Maybe it'll be a half an hour of, like, pre-stream weird, like, nonsense. Probably. But, well, but I'm yeah. just going to have it playing on my computer and put it on mute and then watch real TV, I think. Absolutely. Honestly, I kind of want to take a nap, but... Mm, Ooh. I don't think so. How does Tater do when you nap? Is he good? Oh, he's the best for naps. He hangs out right next to me, and it's, oh. like, warm and cozy. Especially now that I it's chilly that. out, he's like, ooh, body heat, body heat. And I'm like, yes. How right, chilly are you talking? I did not get a new course. Shy I'm guys. Hit Joey with a bomb. Let's see. <gasps> yes, it got him. I mean, uh, who knows? I got Joey with a bomb. Are you excited for me? Yes. I'm not in that match with you, so I'm very excited for any wins that you might do. Happy 420 all. Yep, today is 420. It's April. Can you believe it? Oh, man, that winter really zipped by. Yeah. Honestly, it feels like spring here today, which the world is dying. That's, yeah, um, that's scary. It's so done that a lot. Down. This Yeah, in this fall and winter, it's been like regularly almost in the like high 60s. Oh, that sucks. It's been so unsettling. It's never been like this before. Yeah, it was chilly for us today. I'm quite cold. Honestly, I think I am going to try to take a nap. I think it might be a huge mistake, but I'm going to get cozy on the couch. Hopefully Tater will enjoy some shared body heat. We'll see. Wild how you keep saying man. it like that. What percentages Why? of naps... Uh, no reason. What percentages <laughs> of your naps would you classify as huge mistake? Uh, compared to like, that was all. a good idea. Okay. I would say... I Either I lie down and sort of get cozy for 20 minutes, but don't actually sleep. Yeah. Or I sleep for six hours. Unless... Unless... Unless, um... I'm sick. And then it's success if I um, am able to nap. But I'm not very good at napping, to be honest. Oh, Kevin's here! Anyway, bye! Sorry! <laughs> <laughs> wow. See, you never... Wow, people are just reacting to the Game Awards. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Because I'm not gonna... Oh, people are, like, co-streaming and stuff? Yeah, yeah, that's a huge thing. Weird. Anyway, Matt, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me on. Games and Gimmick says, I am Joey and Abby busted my ass. Feels good, honestly. Yeah. Hope you had fun. I did, too. Well, All right, have good naps, everybody. Yes. I'm going to raid Nina Marie. I'll see everybody there. Thank you so much for gaming with me, everyone, and Matt. <laughs> Second billing after everyone. That hurts. Well, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Bye. I won't be streaming tomorrow, but I will be on streams tomorrow if you catch my drift. Ooh. Next Lander and Giant Bob. I'll see you there. Hopefully that's not a big surprise. Okay, bye everyone. See you later. Goodbye. Bye, 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 bye. I think, let's see. Nope, it didn't fade to black. Okay, bye. <laughs>